I have kids myself and, and have commonly packed their lunches. You want it to be convenient and fast because yes. you're doing it day after day. Uh, but you also want it to be healthy for them. And when it comes to your teeth, if it has any carbohydrates in it, the time that it touches your teeth is really important because the longer it's on your teeth, the higher the risk it has of causing cavities, even if it's not loaded with sugar like a dessert, but something like crackers. So mm -hmm. crackers are very sticky compared to like bread or other things uh, like nuts. And so they stay on your teeth a long time. If you watch a kid eat uh, crackers and then they open their mouth 10 minutes later, you'll see the crackers still in the grooves of their teeth and in between their teeth. So mm -hmm. substituting those out for things like bread or like a pita bread mm -hmm. or for nuts like almonds, if your school would allow nuts, mm -hmm. uh, those can be very helpful. And talk about the difference between the dried fruit as well that you said can be... Yeah, things like stuff. raisins and, mm -hmm. and lots of like trail mixes have dried fruits in them, but dried fruit's really the stickiest version of fruit. Mm -hmm. So uh, rather than dried fruits, the whole fruits would be uh, healthier, especially for your teeth, and the more crunchy the better. So an apple is going to be really crunchy, it's going to wash away very easily. Uh, grapes would be the same way, and those kinds of things can be made in different ways too. You can slice an apple or you can spiralize it so it makes yeah. like chips mm -hmm. and make it more fun in different ways. And you also have a few other items. You've got some chocolate, some hummus, some yogurt. Yeah, so things that wash away very easily, like yogurt, even though it may have some sugar in it, uh, doesn't stay on your teeth for very long. So it doesn't have as high of a risk for causing cavities. And okay. things that are high in fat, so things like peanut butter, hummus, very low risk of causing cavities because it drowns out the sugar that may be in them with all the fat. If you want a dessert, something like a piece of dark chocolate mm -hmm. is really high in fat. We do think that 72% you know, or higher is, is the best kind, so kind of the dark, dark chocolates, uh, but they are lower risk and it's kind of a nice treat to have if you want a sweet treat. Good, so lots of variety here on display. And now talk a little bit about drinks. Yeah, so really the best drink for your teeth is water. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of advantages to having like a thermos or a water bottle that you pack yourself that you can put your own water in, although you know, uh, any sort of convenient version of water is really the best drink available. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to send it with your kid, that's the best thing to send. Awesome.